All right, so today we're going to be verifying our JVT token that's inside the HTTP only cookie, and we're going to protect some routes that we want to, let's say, hide from a user that's not authenticated. Now, I'm using this code from the previous video. I'll put it in the link down below in the description, and you can follow along with me. Now, let's start. We want a login page, okay? So we're going to move this form to a new login page and we're going to create a new protected page that we don't want anyone accessing without being logged in. So let's go to our pages and let's say login.js. We're going to import react and we're going to export default function. We're going to say login. Okay, we're going to need use state. And let's copy this over to there. Okay, so we're going to Copy this. Of course, we need to return it. We're going to copy the handle submit function. We're going to copy the form style. And we're going to copy the use state hook. Okay, that's all nice. We don't need use state. And we are going to need axios. Okay, now when we go to our login page we have the login page right here okay that's nice now we want to redirect our user when when he when he's successful he enters the good uh, data so we're gonna say import next router i think yeah it's next router and we're gonna say const router is equal to next next router it's it's use router from not next router. So we're gonna say use router and we're gonna say use router. And now we want to push if the user is alright. So we're gonna say user.status is equal to 200. So let's say you return something else and you want it to be 200 instead of I don't know, instead of 401. So we're gonna say router.push and we're gonna go to let's say dashboard and let's say user. So we're going to create that, create that page, we're going to say dashboard, and inside of dashboard, we're going to say user.js. And now, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to import React, and we're going to create the page. Export default function, user, and let's return h1 sensitive data, okay? And now, let's log in. We continue and there we go we're pushed to this route dashboard slash user now we still didn't check if we're logged in we know that we're logged in because we're pro programming this but this is a this is this is horrible right you can just go from index you can say dashboard user and there you go you're there we want to check if the request sent to this has a cookie and inside that cookie is a valid jvt so we can do this by writing a middleware function. Okay, Next.js has a middleware middleware component thing that we can use to check each request, what it has and which URL it is. So let's create that. We're going to say middleware.js. And now we want to import next response. We want to import verify because we're going to be verifying our token. Not like that. We're going to put like this. And we want to have our secret here. So let's say const.secret plus cnv. And now let's export default async. That's not going to be async. It's going to be like this function middleware. And we're going to put a request there. Okay. Now we need to get cookies and we need to get our jvt and get the url so we're going to get all the cookies from the request we're going to have our jvt extracted from this cookies and we're going to have a url now we want to see if the user is out we want to protect this route everything that's after dashboard we want to protect right so we can do that by checking the url so we're going to say if the url includes and let's say dashboard right i spell it correctly dashboard yes so we want to check if the URL includes dashboard 
and we want to check if we have our JVT first. So if JVT is equal to undefined, we're just going to redirect the user. So we're going to return a next response that's, that's going to call redirect, and we're going to it, give it a login. And if a JVT exists, then we need to see if it's valid. If the JVT is all right. So we're going to put it inside a try catch, and we're going to say verify. We're going to give it the token, that's the JVT, and we're going to give it the secret. So see, it asks for the token and the secret or public key. We don't need options, so we need this. Okay, it's going to verify, and if it if it passes, we're going to return next response dot next. So it, it can forward the request and it can go to this page. But if it fails, and it's going to say invalid token if it fails, we're going to return the same thing. We're just going to say, no, this is not good. You need to go back to login and try again. And if everything else is all right, we're just going to return a next next response down here and say it's all right. So we reload. We have our token. Now let's say you go out for you go out somewhere and someone comes into your cookies and messes it up. So let's say our token is not valid anymore. Okay, we change the token. We reload. It redirects us, right? Because our token is not good anymore. We we messed with the token. Now let's say we delete the token. Again, we can go to dashboard slash user. We can't see. It just moves us to the login page. Now, if we go to admin, admin, we log in. There you go. That's that's all right because we have the token here. We go to application, and the token is here. Now we also because we're logged in, we don't want to go to login. We don't want to be able to do this. So again, it's pretty simple. You can check the URL. You can say if that URL includes URL that includes slash login. And if it does, we can check this again, and you can move this to a function. I recommend using this, moving it to a function. We can check if JVT is all right, if it exists, and if we can verify it. So if JVT is all right, we don't need you don't need to be at the login page. You can't log in two times. So we're going to say if JVT, and we're going to try to verify it. And if it's all right, we're going to redirect to, I don't know, let's say slash index. But if it's not all right, we can just remove it. And we can, you know, do anything you want here, basically. So let's say we have the login. We redirect. There you go. Because we are logged in. You, you cannot go to the login page again. That's because we have our cookie. So we go login. Login doesn't work. Let's log out. And now we go to login page and we're there. We go to admin, admin, we log in, we go to the dashboard. We want to go back to the login page, we can't. One more thing. If you want to get the username here that we set, the payload, you're going to need to do this. const dot I don't know, let's say user is equal to verify and you can console.log the user. So now let's say we go to dashboard slash user. There you go, expiration, username and everything else you want. So you can get the payload by doing this. If you don't want the payload, you can just call verify like this. But if you do want the payload, you should get the payload here and you can do whatever you want with it. Okay? And that's it. That's how you can protect your routes and verify your tokens.